Hey guys, welcome back! If you follow my channel, you know how crazy I am for off-road racing. So back in 1997 and after GTI Club, I was all over this brand new game from Midway that had just arrived at one of my local arcades. Off-Road Challenge takes advantage of the Midway V-Unit hardware and curiously is part of the Off-Road series that began with Ivan Ironman Stewart Super Off-Road back in 1989 developed by Leland Corporation. I'm sure that you all played that one back in the day through the many home conversions by Graftgold and software creations available during 1990 and 1991 for practically all computers and consoles. I first recall playing it at the computer lab at school on a 286 desktop PC and sadly never came across that iconic arcade cabinet with those three steering wheels. So and besides that MS-DOS version, I was all over the ZX Spectrum and the Mega ports. I also played the Mega Drive version over at a friend's house and only many years later tried the Super Nintendo version through emulation. To this day I'm yet to try all other versions cause as said, it was all over the place for the Master System, for the NES, for the Game Boy, for the Atari ST, for the Commodore 64, for the Amstrad CBC, for the Game Gear, for the Atari Lynx, you name it. And please tell me, which ones have you played and are most fond about? A track pack, simply known as the track pack, was released for arcades as an add-on board containing 8 brand new tracks and would also offer the chance to choose between the normal trophy truck and the dune buggy expanding the game's longevity. But Super Off-Road had a proper sequel named Super Off-Road The Baja that ended up released solely for the Super Nintendo in 1993 cause the Mega Drive version in development ended up cancelled. Ivan Stewart can be seen in the title screen and in some menus, but Evan had an active role in the development of the game. It's now based on the Baja 1000 race instead of dirt track racing and was changed to a third person camera instead of an overhead camera, taking advantage of its Mode 7 hardware for that 3D racing experience. Besides the Baja 1000 event, in which the game is based, two other tournaments are present, the Mexico 250 and the Ensenada 500, and each are point A to point B races, just how I like it. The game is held with many opponents, as well as civilians and even wildlife that can hinder the player or be ruthlessly run over. Along the tracks we can collect money just like in its predecessor that can be spent on improvements of various upgrades like brakes, tires, suspensions, engine, nitros and even lights. And this leads us to Off-Road Challenge released for arcades by Midway in 1997. For this one, Midway grabbed the same model cabinet used on their two previous racing games, Cruisin' World and San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing, and up to four cabinets could be linked together for players to race against each other. It offers six tracks, ranging in difficulty as always in this sort of games, from beginner to intermediate to advanced, and most are off-road tracks, sometimes containing urban areas. Performance items can be purchased by the players such as power, tires and suspension, but also, and during gameplay, power-ups can be picked up such as nitro, helmets that prevents from losing speed when colliding with other vehicles, and money. There are various obstacles depending on the track, such as wagon carts, a train, water slicks and trees. At the finish line try to be at the top 4 places to earn cash and the higher you place, the bigger the pile of money will be. For this one Ivan Stewart was brought back as technical advisor. A year later Off-Road Challenge was ported over to the Nintendo 64 being its conversion in the hands of Avalanche Studios. Midway Games published it, but was immediately criticized by the dated graphics and the slow menus that were directly ported from the arcade original. Gameplay is similar to its predecessor where the player races against other off-road vehicles across various landscapes while collecting nitros and so forth. Once the player has completed the circuit, it's time to upgrade the truck and move up to the next difficulty level. And while we're at it, let me just bring Off-Road Thunder also to the table. 
It was an evolution of Off-Road Challenge and the last game in the Off-Road series but also part of another series, Midway's Thunder series of racing games composed by Hydro Thunder, Four-Wheel Thunder and Arctic Thunder. So guys, have you played any of these titles? Are you a fan of the genre? I surely am! And if you're in the mood for some off-road racing with trophy trucks and dune buggies, nowadays there's no other option than to grab one of the available versions of Baja Edge of Control. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Cheers! Ah!